most of the time it's the same chord in the whole bar then starting in the top um, it might uh, change the chord coming down um, but there's a few places where we have changes within the bar um, so like on the one two three fourth page which is page seven in my score um, before kind of the main theme comes in um, we have this sequence nice sequence and then we have a change so let's see it's bar 42 let's see the first note is one two three four one two three four so that's a G so I'm gonna write it in there we go there's my little G <laughs> I like to do that <laughs> little 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 G there um, yeah and overall though this is what an E minor 7 uh, yeah good good old E minor 7 I'll put E minor 7 here now this seems, seems to be a typical circle progression so without even looking um, E minor 7 E minor 7 or a D G C something like that right um, so yeah, we have A minor 7, then D minor 7, um, this is it's an F, okay, so that's D minor 7, and then next would be G7, G7, and next would be C, but it's a C major 7, um, so presumably it's going to F major 7, which yes, it does. And after F major 7 would be B half diminished. So, yep, it's B half diminished 7. But then, instead of E minor, again, um, it goes to B7. Yeah. Yeah, B7. And B7 is the dominant of E. And here it's... Just good old E, no seven. But then, then Ray though, yeah, okay. So comes out, comes comes out, comes down a third. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, now, in case you're wondering, am I talking because you know I'm using this as a teaching kind of thing? And the answer is well, yes, but I I do talk when I practice. In fact. I talk quite a bit when I practice. If, if I'm really kind of practicing, I'll, I'll talk and I'll say stuff as I f learn something or I figure out what something is or as I deal with some issue, I'll, I'll sometimes talk about it literally. So um, I talk less, but I do talk, you know? So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay. Now the bass. the baseline for that whole section um, e, uh, G, G okay G so what it is is um, we hmm. okay then uh, let's see uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Okay. Okay, each time it's a fourth. Okay, so that's. Okay, so. So we skip the fourth there. This is some kind of. Some kind of yeah, interesting voicing. in the missing E. Da, da. And same thing, um, it's that, um, you know, first inversion or major chord kind of thing. Um, then open up here. 
So same voicing, we skip the fifth, then again, then da, da, the same same pattern. Thank goodness, thank goodness for patterns. Okay, same pattern. Then skip the fifth, fifth. then da, 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 same pattern, same pattern. Thank goodness. Okay, but now we come. Oh, so now we come all the way. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and then repeat, but now B dominant seven. And then, so full beat, a fourth beat, and then. Ah, but even here, this pattern is the same in that we're missing this in the middle. So that's good. Okay, but how many are there? One, uh, one, two, three, three and four. Yeah, and complete four. It goes all the way up to the E. Hallelujah. Okay, and then, oh, same thing. But it's a little harder on the way down. Or, or is it? I don't know. Ooh, it's, it's harder on the way down. I wonder. Ooh. Mm. It's pretty hard, pretty hard. Okay, so at least this, the sequence pattern is consistent. So let's see, um, G. Seven over Rado and then back to the main key. Uh, I presume that's a four. Yeah. Five. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's a three. D, that's a three. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have some idea about it. Let's just try it again. Up G. <laughs> and get the note. Uh, um, F, F, F. G. See, I have to figure out the grouping here also. Um, F, uh, C. some idea about that sequence really really nice sequence there okay. 
Um, then, uh, what time do we have here? Okay, uh, maybe, what shall we try here? Um, maybe we'll just do that once again. I'm, I'm looking at the top here. One issue to face whenever we play with, well, one issue we face is uh, grouping or um, kind of what notes should be connected or kind of in one position and what notes should be in a different position. And that often defines what's literally legato and what's sort of separated. Um, so like, for example, that's in one group, but then you see the E, the thumb has to stretch out. So in a sense, this can be thought of as a little bit separate. Although with um, the swiveling of the arm, uh, then it, it can make it, you know, basically legato. But, but then there's letting go. Yeah, definitely. So this is one big group with the swivel and then dropping in and new group. Oh, but then we have to come back here. Okay, don't go too far. Come back down. Okay, I really think duh, this is the the end of the group and we'll start fresh. So the duh, um, this one will be part of the next group. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh gosh. stuck here bothers me a bit uh can i can i reliably do that or do i need to swivel and come in do i bring it out and then come in you know it's a question i feel this is more accurate this is dangerous like i'll get stuck or something i don't know Yeah. 